one thing that seems very close to being completed it was first reported by ken rosenthal of the athletic that um jay happ and the yankees had come to an agreement and all that was left was uh physicals and and things like that uh then he walked it back momentarily uh or moments later where he said uh, let me walk that back it's still not quite done uh but everything that i'm hearing is that it is going to get done and the reason that it's going to get done is that the yankees did what they didn't want to do if it does get done they did what they didn't want to do they went to a third year and we've been saying this over and over the past week or so. They lost out on Corbin because they wouldn't go to six. They lost out on Evaldi because they wouldn't go to four. And if they continue to be so stringent and responsible, they're going to lose out on people they need. And they probably examine the trade market for Kluber and for Syndergaard. And they're saying the price is too high in terms of what we would have to give up in terms of a big... Um, talent switch from the Yankees to that team let's just sign Hap who doesn't cost us anything and then what it keeps in play is this guys if they have to get that big time pitcher and I, I've heard walking the lobbies here guys that Madison Bumgarner is likely not going to be dealt by the Giants and if he is going to be dealt he's going to be dealt near the trade deadline if the Giants are out of it right. so this way the Yankees keep their prospects and if a Kluber or a Bauer or a Bumgarner is not traded now, then they might be traded closer to the trade deadline, and the Yankees will have um, the inventory to go mm -hmm. get that player. So you get half, that gives you your five-man rotation. You've got the kids down at AAA that could come up in case people miss starts, and then you have enough people like a Floreal, even an Andujar, uh, or some of the guys they have down in the minor league system that you could go out and get that big player. They don't want to do it now, and it makes sense. Just spend the money, and if to bite the bullet, you bite the bullet on a guy like Half, who has a, an effortless um, delivery whose stuff looks like it would translate maybe three years. If it doesn't, you know, so what? They lost money in the third year. It's not like they're losing, you know, what they lost with Alex Rodriguez in year 7, 8, 9, and 10 in that contract. So I, I think it's probably a smart move it hap if it happens. The guy's proven mm -hmm. that he can handle New York. He pitched in, in the postseason. He pitched well for the Yankees against the Red Sox, but he didn't lose pitching for them after coming over from the Blue right. Jays in the regular season. Uh, I think it's a good move by them. See, people have to look at it a little differently than they are because you look at it happen like well the, the trade didn't work last year you traded to get him to beat the Red Sox didn't beat the Red Sox so what are you going going crazy signing him for yes you traded for him last year specifically to beat the Red Sox because you knew you were going to the playoffs anyway now you've signed him to a three-year deal to be what he was in the regular season when he was seven and oh Right. right. So you traded for one player. You're signing kind of uh, the same player for a much different reason. And this is what they knew they had in their back pocket. I can't remember if it was Buster Olney or Todd Ferducci that brought this up. They knew and Hap pretty much told them, if you go three years, if everybody else gives me three years, I'm going to the Yankees. So they knew all they had to do was go to three years and he was going to sign with them. So that's why they didn't give the extra year to, to, to Corbin. That's why they didn't go after um, Ivaldi, because they knew that at the end of the day, if they didn't get the player they wanted for the price they wanted, they can give Hap the extra year. So they lived up to their, the expectations as far as their plans are concerned. Maybe it wasn't the plans that the fans had for them. But this is what they had planned all along.